Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss associative property. So first let us discuss associative property on addition. So here associative property on addition states that if we wish to add two or more numbers say a plus b plus c it doesn't matter how we group them. We may also group in this way or we also group the numbers in this way. But the sum of both the statements will be equal. So now let me explain this concept with an example over here. So here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. And then if we change the group we get 1 plus 2 plus 3. So now let us first discuss the sum in the left hand side. So we get here 1 plus 2 that is 3. And here 3 plus 3 will be equal to 6. And then coming to the right hand side where we have 1 plus 2 plus 3. So we get here 1 plus 5 which is also equal to 6. So here we can say that if we change the group we get the same result. So here associative property of addition which can be represented as a plus b plus c will be equal to a plus b plus c. So here associative property is a closed operation. So now let us move further and discuss associative property of subtraction. So here let me explain this concept with example over here. So here if we consider 7 minus 4 minus 3 and if we change the group here we get 7 minus 4 minus 3. So coming to the left hand side we get 7 minus 1. So we get here 7 minus 1 which is equal to 6. And then coming to the right hand side where we have 7 minus 4 minus 3. So we get here 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0. Since both the values are not equal so we can say that associative property of subtraction is not possible which can be represented as a minus b minus c is not equal to a minus b minus c. So associative property of subtraction is not a closed operation. So now let us move further and discuss associative property on multiplication. So here associative property on multiplication states that if we wish to multiply two or more numbers it doesn't matter how we group them. We may also group in this way but both the products will be equal. So let me explain this concept with an example over here. So here we have 4 into 5 into 6 and by changing the group we get 4 into 5 into 6. So now let us find the product on the left hand side. So here we get 4 into 5 that is 20 into 6 which is equal to 120. And now coming to the right hand side we get 4 into 5 into 6 that is 30. So 4 into 30 here is 120. Since both the values are equal associative property of multiplication can be represented as a into b into c which will be equal to a into b into c. So here we can say that associative property of multiplication is closed operation. So now let us move further and discuss associative property on division. So let me explain this concept with example over here. So here the example is 24 divided by 12 divided by 6. And by changing the group we get 24 divided by 12 divided by 6. So now coming to the left hand side let us divide the terms inside the parenthesis. So here 24 divided by 12 is 2 which is divided by 6. So here 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 3. And now coming to the right hand side where 24 is divided by 12 divided by 6 that is 2. So we get here 24 divided by 2 and the result is 12. Since both the values are not equal so we can say that associative property doesn't go with division. So we can represent this as a divided by b divided by c is not equal to a divided by b divided by c. So here associative property is not a closed operation under division. So at last we can conclude this by saying 
associative property states that if we wish to add or multiply two or more numbers it doesn't matter how we group them and their result will be equal so this was a basic introduction on associative property hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day Thank you.